Oh, I want to head to the States in just a moment because the open border issue remains huge with a new poll showing that 62% of voters support Donald Trump's plan to deport all migrants who are living illegally in the US. This tends to, tends to suggest that Trump is on to a winner with his border policies. I took it up with Kristen Tate. Yes, of course. I wasn't surprised at all when I saw that poll. What's surprising to me is that there's uh, more than 30% of Americans who don't want to see deportations happen, Chris. We've seen over 8 million illegal aliens have encounters with Border Patrol under Joe Biden. That's the population of New York City. Millions more have come into the country that have not had encounters with Border Patrol and are living in the country uh, somewhere. We don't know where. So. If of course we need to see deportations. My question is, why didn't Trump do this during his first term? I'm glad to see him running on this now, but this has been a problem that's existed far before Joe Biden, Joe Biden's term or even President Trump's presidency. Remember, Trump ran on immigration in 2016. So I hope if he's elected, Trump will actually do it this time because deportations are the only way that this problem is going to actually be solved. Yeah, there's got to be a disincentive. Australia knows this more than many other countries. You have to have a disincentive to illegal migration, otherwise it escalates out of control. I just want to show you a grab from US television news here, which illustrates the point on a couple of levels. Uh, this is a, a television interviewer, a reporter down near the border. Have a look. We've been talking to migrants from all over the world arriving here into the San Diego sector. I talked to one man from Turkey. Here's what he had to say. What do you think of President Biden? Uh, Biden, I love Biden. <laughs> Why do you love Biden? Uh, because uh, Biden, we love. Why do you love him? Uh, Biden uh, help us. Krista, this is extraordinary on two levels and shows the dimensions of the problem. One is this bloke's from Turkey. This is not just about, you know, poor bedeviled Central Americans trying to get into the US. This is people from all over the world going to Mexico so they can easily get across to the US, which uh, shows the dimensions of that, that the problem from that angle. But secondly, of course, it's just the, the view of the US under Biden as being a soft touch. Uh, he'll let them in. Well, they're correct. I mean, I would be doing the same thing if I were them. This is the time to come if you want to come because we have a president who is not only just uh, not dealing with the problem, but actively encouraging the problem. Flights are full of migrants from across the world who are flying to Mexico so that they can walk over the border. The whole thing is a sham, Chris. And the Democrats keep saying, we need more money for Border Patrol. So we keep giving them more money. But guess what? Border Patrol has become a big welcome committee. I know a lot of Border Patrol agents. I used to be a, a reporter down on the border there in McAllen, Texas. They all tell me their hands are tied. They are being given orders from the federal government, from their higher ups to basically facilitate this process and just continue um, bringing them across and getting them into the system, giving them a court date that many of these migrants never show up to. So getting more Border Patrol agents on the ground is not really solving this problem. In fact, in some ways, it's making it worse by facilitating the process of actually welcoming these people in and allowing them to, to disappear into the country.